Hey guys, what's up? It's Rick and I'm here with my most anticipated movies of February 2018. Uh, this is going to be a very brief video. There are only six movies on my list that I want to see in 2018. Uh, it is the end of January. I have yet to see one 2018 movie. It'll change soon. Um, I'll be seeing Den of Thieves. So, I'm going to run through. I'm going to knock this out really fast. Uh, my top most anticipated releases of 2017, 2018, February, theatrical. Number six, Fifty Shades Freed. Don't judge me. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey was horrible. It was on my worst of the year. Fifty Shades Darker was probably uh, number 20 in my worst of the year. It was bad, but it was funny. And... Uh, I've now been sucked into how are they going to finish this? How does the trilogy end? I don't want any spoilers. I'm going to go see this movie. I know it's going to be awful, but I'm going to have a fun time watching it. Number six, Fifty Shades Freed. Number five, Winchester starring Helen Mirren. Uh, I know it's a horror movie and that probably throws a lot of you guys off, but I think it looks very interesting and, um, I do want to check this one out. I'll probably be terrified. I'll probably be covering my eyes like a, a wuss. But that's okay because it looks like a cool movie. And I do look forward to seeing it. I do enjoy a good horror movie. I just don't enjoy crappy horror movies. So number five is Winchester. Number four is the 1517 to Paris. I don't know much about it. It's Clint Eastwood's new movie. Uh, it is actually being starred in by the people who actually... Uh, were affected by these events, similar to the movie Act of Valor. Um, the previews make this movie look really good, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, it's been a slow first couple months of the year, but I know it'll pick up uh, release-wise. The top three of this list I'm pretty pumped about. This is just that mediocre. It feels like The Commuter. It feels like 12 Strong. Something I'll watch, but I'm not super excited to watch. Number three is Annihilation uh, with Natalie Portman. This movie looks awesome. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what it's about. And I don't want to know what it's about. Um, I've seen the one trailer and that's all I really want to see. I feel like they've given me enough to make me excited to go see it. And that's that. Uh, number two is Game Night, starring Rachel McAdams, Jason Bateman, other people who I can't think of their names, Kyle Chandler. Uh, it looks funny. Uh, I'm curious. I'm hoping it is good. Uh, it looks like it's going to be R-rated. R-rated comedy is probably my favorite genre, if you will, genre within a genre, subgenre. Uh, so I love the rated R comedy. Some are awful. Uh, i.e. the house uh, you know that was the first one in my head some are great i.e. super bad so R-rated comedies game night it looks funny should be a good time and my number one most anticipated release of February a movie that a lot of you guys are looking forward to Black Panther starring Chaswick, <laughs> Chaswick, Chadwick Boseman Michael B. Jordan I could go on and on I'm not going to Black Panther looks amazing. Cannot wait to see it because it is the last step before we get to Avengers Infinity War. And if you guys are half as pumped as I am for that movie, I cannot wait. So, number one, most anticipated release of February 2018, Black Panther. That's it for this video, guys. It's going to be nice and brief. Be sure to comment down below with what you guys are looking forward to seeing in February in your theaters, whether you're in the UK, in America, wherever it may be. What are you guys looking forward to checking out in February? Leave comments down below. We'll talk about it. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe. I'm going to keep producing new content for you guys to check out. And uh, that's it. Everything I do watch is in my letterbox. The link can be found down below along with some other stuff, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that other stuff. But the important ones, Instagram, Blu-ray.com, Letterboxd. Those are the three I post on the most. That's it, guys. And until next time, who's down? The movie.